Hey guys, it's May May, and on my Facebook group called May May Made It and So Did I, there was a pop-up Polaroid camera card posted, and so many of you wanted a tutorial on it. So I've gone to town and I put my twist on it, and this is what we're gonna do today. So to start with, you're gonna need a card base that is regular A2, and I use blue because I think it's pretty for the Polaroid. So this is a blue card base. The difference for me, normally, I cut my card bases up and down. This one is cut lengthwise. So my eight and a half by 11 paper sits like this, and then I cut it in half at five and a half to get me this piece. Scored at four and a quarter, and that is my card base. Don't need it right now. Next, I have this piece of black cardstock. So this black piece of cardstock is gonna make the camera body, okay? And we need to score it in several places. It's eight inches long by four and a quarter high, and don't worry, all the um, score marks and dimensions will be on the blog post for you. Here's where we score it. We're gonna start here in the, in the corner and score it two inches, then I'm gonna score at three inches, and then I'm gonna score at five and a quarter. And this is gonna make our camera body, okay? So then for this little white piece that is gonna be like the white portion of the camera, you need a piece that is five and a quarter by four, all right? And you're gonna score it in two places, two and a half and five. That's so awesome. I am going to fold this guy on my little fold marks. And what you'll want to do, just get it folded. It's a pop-up card, so you're gonna wanna crease these down really good because you want it to lift really well whenever you put it into the card. You know, you wanna get a good response from it. So get these creased well. That first flap is gonna go this way. This next line is gonna go down because this is where the Polaroid picture is gonna come out of, okay? So I'm just gonna line this up and go on and crease it just like so, and then you guessed it, this piece is gonna go up because this is the camera body itself. And I'm just gonna lay it down. I'm just trying to line everything up. Now mine is different than the picture you might have seen on the Facebook group. The reason is I did not want to fool with figuring out all of this wrapping it around kind of situation. And what I decided was, if I put this into my card and was able to push it forward like this in the pop-up, then when it opens, I still get the shape that I'm looking for for the uh, camera, but I don't have to build the whole camera and stick it in. It'll make sense as we get going. All right, so there's the base. I'm gonna put that aside and let's go ahead and work on this because I think this is gonna be adorable. So for the camera body, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put on those little iconic stripes, the blue and the yellow and the red that are iconic for the um, like an instant, instant camera. So I don't remember which order these go in, so I'm really not gonna stress about it. I'm just gonna put them in. I think they'll be cute. And what I'm gonna do to do this I'm going to put this little piece on my cutting mat centered, okay? So I've got it just between some lines so I can find the middle. And I'm gonna start with the blue. I'm gonna put the middle down first. Now here's the thing. We are gonna cross over both of these score lines with this piece. So that's why I have not folded this piece yet. I want to go ahead and put these pieces down before I fold it. And that way these guys will get a better fold. If I were to go ahead and put the crease in, it would be kind of weird because I got to cross over that um, crease with these pieces and try to get the score, the fold lines exactly perfect. And I don't wanna fight that. So this piece that I'm using here is about three, I think it's three and a half or three and a quarter long, but I'll have those measurements on the blog. All right, so there's the blue. And then I'm gonna put on the yellow. Now remember, the card I'm making is not an exact replica of the one that was on Facebook. This one is a little different because, like I said, I wanted to change up the way it was assembled to make it easy for me because I like easy. So, not that I think that one was very hard, but I didn't, I didn't want to do all the, like, build of the whole camera. So, this is going to give you the feel of a pop-up camera without having, like, an entire camera inside of it. All right, so you can see there, we've crossed over the line and we've got those where we want them. Now, while we have this piece here, let's go ahead and put our camera lens on. So to make the lens, this is a two inch circle and this is a one and three quarter inch circle. I'm gonna glue these guys together. So I'm gonna just scratch some glue on. You don't need a lot of this glue. You'll get warping if you put too much on. And then I'm just gonna center this on top of the silver. So that's a silver piece of paper. It's not glitter, you could use glitter. Mine's just some silver paper. And this is gonna live somewhere here so see how those are gonna kinda line up with each other? And then the other little buttons and things are gonna go on too. This is super cute. All right, let's glue this guy down in place. So something like this. So there is the lens of our camera. Keep that pressed down for a second. Then for all the other pieces, I just went into my stash and pulled um, some punches that would help me get these shapes. And I'll show you real quick what I'm working with here. 
So I've got this little shape. I've got a square for the flash. I should say a rectangle. I've got a button here for the um, like the snap button and all that good stuff. So let's start first with this rectangle. So this little rectangle is one inch by three fourths. Okay, so I've glued up the little rectangle and it's just gonna live right up here in the corner and be the flash of the camera. So I'm just gonna put it up in the corner and let it kind of live in that little spot. Isn't that cute? Now the way I picked out my camera is I just went out to Google and looked at some pictures of some Polaroids to kind of get an idea. So you can do the same thing and just get, you know, as close as you can. It's not gonna be perfect. I'm gonna put a little circle here. I actually had thought about putting a star here. I thought that'd be cute for the flash to have a little star. I may go back and put one in the middle there. All right, then over here, for this piece with these rounded edges, you don't have to have these rounded edges. You can just use a strip of paper for this. I got this from using my Word Window Punch. Let me show you. So this is the Word Window Punch. It's from Stampin' Up, and I don't know if they sell it anymore. I bought it a long time ago. But what I did was I just punched out one shape. All right, so that gave me the piece. But you can see here it's way too long for where I want it. So then I took it back to the punch and put it about the length I wanted and punched it one more time. And that gave me the smaller piece I wanted. So if you do have this punch, you can get that shape that way. But you certainly could just use a rectangle. It would be fine. All right, so for this piece, it's gonna be right over here. So just put a little glue down here. That's too much glue, but I'm gonna go with it. I'm just gonna stick it somewhere in this area and just kind of line that up like that. All these are just little buttons and things for your camera. Then this little red button is going to go underneath that little line we just did to be like the button we pushed to take a photo with. Um, this one is the half inch circle. And then this one is the one that I got from, I think this is um, My Paper Studio and it's like a five eighths inch. But just play around in your stash and use what you can find. And then one more button I'm gonna put on this side just cause I think we need the button based on what I saw on line. Just put this little button right there. Who knows what it does? I don't know. Maybe it says, it tells you to smile or something. So there's our little camera. And now we can fold those pieces because now that this is dried, I feel better about it. And I'm even gonna take my ruler and lay it down to help kind of keep those nice and straight as I fold this. So I'm just folding on the score lines I made, but you remember I did not fold those before I glued them down. So I'm just gonna do it like that. And then on this end, I'm gonna do the same thing, but these need to come backwards. So just line this up like this. And I might have to adjust this a little bit more because I've got to glue this down to the little body, but that's how that's gonna be. Isn't that cute? It looks like a camera. So this is the piece we made to be the body of the camera, okay? And I cut this piece so that it would line up at the top along here, okay? You'd have a quarter of an inch on either side to give it a little more camera body. And then this little piece is gonna wrap over the edge. You're gonna glue this on just like this. So let's put glue on the back. I'm gonna start with the top section. So line this up on either side, about a quarter of an inch. I'm gonna do it the best I can and to the top. So now that piece is glued down. Then I'm just gonna take this piece and glue it down here. So starting like so. Good, and then lay that down into it. And then I'm gonna glue this little piece that hangs over. I'm gonna do them in stages like this so I can get a good safe bend, if that makes sense, like so. And then I'm gonna come underneath here, add a little glue to this little strip that's hanging over the edge and fold it down. And that's gonna give you your camera portion. It's super cute. I'm gonna have to work that down a little bit. That's what I was saying with this little quarter of an inch strip. You might even wanna add a quarter of an inch and make it a half an inch down here, but I think this will work once we get it glued into place. That should stay just fine. Look how cute that is. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make a slice picture to live in. And I'm just using my ruler on either edge I've got it lined up to one edge of the card and lined up to the other. And I'm gonna come in about half an inch from one side and I'm gonna go down half an inch from the other. This is gonna be, I wanna make sure I got through all the way. I pretty much did, let me fill that out. No, nope, let me cut it one more time. So what this is gonna do is this is gonna allow us to slide a little Polaroid in there that I'm going to make and show you. So let's slice that one more time. So there's my little slice. Now in hindsight, I would make this slice before I put this piece on. 
but we're learning this together today. So there's my little slice for me to put a little Polaroid picture in, and this guy is gonna go into my card like this. Isn't that cute? And then when it closes down in the card, it'll be flat and the card will help it to pop up. So let's go ahead and put this into the card base. Here's how I have laid this out. This was another thing for me. I didn't wanna have to decide where to place this to get it nice and even, so I kinda cheated it. And here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna come down here to this end, and I'm gonna line up the black end of my camera, this piece that's sticking out, I'm gonna line it up down here. It's a perfect place to put a sentiment and it keeps me from having to measure anything, okay? So I'm gonna glue this down. Right to the edge and centered in the middle of the card there. So just leaving kind of the same distance on either side of the camera. Get that glued down like so. And then to make sure I get a good fold, I'm gonna go ahead and close this guy down like this, add glue, and then close the card on top of it. So this way I know when I open this camera, I'm gonna get it, it's gonna open like it should, or when I open this card, it's gonna open like it should, and my camera's gonna pop up correctly. So I'm just closing that over to catch it. Now then, when I open my, ca my card, see my camera opens like that. Isn't that adorable? And it's it's bigger than the one that was on Facebook, but again, I'm not trying to mimic, I mean, make it exactly. I'm just trying to use it as inspiration. So that will be my card base. Now let's make the uh, piece to go in here that is gonna be the Polaroid. Now I decided to have a little fun. I went into my stash and I have a stamp set that is called Oh Snap. Let me pull it out of here. So it's called Oh Snap. It's a little picture frame. And then it has all these words that can go inside the little bottom of the frame. And I even have a companion set for it that has more sayings to put in there. But I'm gonna use this here today. Let me get some ink. So I'm using this new Versafine Claire ink on this stamp, on this little picture frame. I'm just gonna ink it up like so. And then I'm going to stamp it down on this little piece of paper. This is cardstock that I cut just to be the right size for this little stamp. My head may get in the way, I apologize. I think this is a cute way to use this little stamp though. Take my pokey tool to help me lift that up because it's gonna stick. Look how cute that is, I think it's adorable. Then, and I will not take credit for this, I saw this online and it was so perfect. So we started carrying this um, silhouette paper, the scratch off um, sticker paper in our store, and I've not had a chance to use it. And when I was researching making this little card, someone had done this and I think it's adorable. Here's what I'm gonna do. I cut out a picture of me, isn't that funny? This is when I caught a fish stick. That's a stick in my hand. We were fishing that day and I think it's funny. And so I just printed it out on regular paper. You could put it on cardstock, you could do whatever. And I'm gonna glue it down inside that little Polaroid where I need that to live. And I've not used this um, sticker paper yet. This is the first time for me. So I'm just gonna glue this down in this little hole, just like this, right inside the frame there. Then I'm gonna put this sticker paper on top, the scratch off sticker paper. So I'm gonna peel the backer away and expose the sticky part. I can get my finger on it, there we go. So this will peel away, okay? You don't need this piece. This is just to keep the adhesive uh, free of anything. And then I'm gonna lay this over the picture that I laid down. You could lay this down first and then trim it, whatever's easiest for you. Then I'm just gonna cover it up. Now look at that. It reminds me of a Polaroid picture back in the day, right? When we used to get them done and then have to shake them like this. So this will then go right inside of here and slide in like that. And your card will still close. See how cute that is? And then when you open it, you can pull this out. Now I wanna stamp a little sentiment right here too. I'm gonna try this color called Paradise. And I'm gonna stamp the sentiment that says a great day, because this was a great day. I remember having fun with my boys and fishing. So I'm gonna put this right down in here on the bottom. Look how cute that is, let that dry. And I'm gonna also make a little polar for the front of the card too, but I'm gonna start with this one. So this we would then scratch off. We'll do that at the end of the video, but it will live right inside here. And I think that this works to get you the same kind of card that was on the um, page, but it's a little less work for me assembly-wise. Now remember, you can do this any way you want. This is just inspiration, but I think we need something cute on the front. I'm gonna tuck that in a little more. I think we need something cute here. So let me make something for the front. So I cut myself another little picture and I stamped inside of it, strike a pose. Then I decided to pull out some of the colored inks and I think I'm gonna make some background paper with these stamps because they're cute and they have to do with photos. This one says, making memories. Let me just open this up. I'm gonna tap this down in there and I'm just gonna stamp this all over the place, kind of on and off the page um, in several places. So I'll do this one. 
like so, just here and there. Then I'm gonna take this green and use the one that says Say Cheese and kind of fill in some spots with it. Those colors are similar on this or on this yellowy orange paper. And for the pink, I'm gonna use the word smile. Um, actually, it's not pink, it's purple delight. And this one is kind of smaller, so it'll kind of fill in some of the holes. I'm just gonna do it all over the place. Now, if I were doing this for a specific occasion, I'd spend more time and make sure this kind of matches the occasion I'm doing. But this is gonna work just fine for what I'm doing. I just wanted to kind of make this card, see if I could do it. It's a challenge for myself. All right, so I'm gonna glue this one down. Just like so. By the way, this piece, oh, I must put on upside down because I'm known for that. This piece is four by five and a quarter. So to give us a little eighth inch border all the way around. So get that down there like so. And then I think I'm going to just pop this little guy up right here just like that. So put some foam squares on the back and I'm just going to lay this here. I've got a foam square backer stuck to my finger. Here we go. You know you've been crafting hard when you're full of ink and full of glue, and I'm definitely full of all of that right now. So there's a little card. I'm gonna crease it down a little more. I'm just gonna use my bone folder on all these creases. It's a little thick because we've layered some paper, so it gets a little harder to uh, get it all flat, 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 but I'm just gonna do this to make that happen. But it's a pop-up card, so it's gonna you know pop up a little bit, and that's kind of cool. So when the recipient gets it, they open it and look at the camera, looking at them. I think I'm gonna put a little white uh, lines in here with my white pen. A lot of this is, you know, the stuff you would think about, you can do this before you put it all together. So I'm just going to take my white pen just to give it a little bit of reflection. Something like that. Maybe one here. Just because I think this just really makes all those little black pieces on there pop. Even the red one. See, that looks cute. I like that. I like adding the little white pieces. So there you go. My rendition, and I know you guys want to see how this works. So do I. I've never tried it before. But when you give someone this card, they have this piece. They have this little scratch off part, and let's scratch it together. i got to find something to scratch. All right, let's go. I've got a penny, and I'm just going to start scratching away and see what it looks like. This would be super fun for a kid to get. Oh, that's cool. So it's kind of like we shook our Polaroids. <laughs> That's a brilliant idea. I saw it online. If I can find the post, I think it was on a blog post. If I can find the post, um, I'll share that. I'll link that below so you can see it. But look how cute. Not me, the project. <laughs> this is fun. I'd want to scratch every little teeny bit off, and I know my kids would want to do the same. But I'm going to stop like this. Look, I don't want to stop, so we're going to stop. Anyway, that's how that would work. It would be super cute for you to give that to somebody and have them scratch that off and, and reveal the picture. So there you go, my version. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that you make it, and I want to see it if you do. If you make one of these cards, share it with me over on my Facebook group called May May Made It and So Did I, or on our customer gallery, which is on our website under the menu tab. You'll just click gallery, and you can share your creation. So you can see here how it pops up on the side. And then when this is all scratched off, your little picture's all scratched off, you can put it right back in and you can keep it for looking at all the time. There you go, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye.